then <laughs> hey guys it's your girl yo yo and today we are going to talk about how I got into Temple University. This could obviously be applied to other schools that you are applying to. For instance, I applied, the other schools that I applied to were SUNY Albany, which is the State University of New York at Albany. But I got accepted into Susquehanna University, Houston, University of New Haven, and obviously I got accepted into Temple University. So the only reason why I'm saying that I'm not bragging whatsoever, I'm just saying that so you can see kind of the range of like, the different school types and if I have been accepted and what schools are looking for. So the SAT scores are like really really big or whatever. Um, my score wasn't that high. My score was an 1100 both times. So I took the SAT two times because the first time I got an 1100 I was like look I need like 11 I need like a 1300 to get into the schools that I want to get into because I dream big. So I took it a second time and I still got an 1100 and it was pretty close. It was already like October and I was applying early admission. And I was like, look, I am tired. I'm not taking the SAT again. So I said, I'm just gonna stick with the SAT score that I have. Oh, so specifically for a temple, there is a temple option. So this option is if you're unsatisfied with your SAT scores, so they ask you a whole bunch of questions and you basically have to like write short response answers. I really like the fact that they even have that because it just shows that Temple is very inclusive and they don't care as much about scores and numbers. They care more about who you are as a person and how dedicated you are. So the Temple option does take some time, but if you're unhappy with your SAT score, that can really help you get into college. Well, specifically into Temple University because they have that option. So my grades pretty much were A's and B's. Here in New York, my grades were, the way our grade system is, is grade point average. So it's out of 100. So most of my classes, I only got 90s and above. Rarely some classes. I got 85s, which are mostly like some science classes and geometry, I think. I got 85s. My unweighted GPA ended up being a 92 point something something and then my weighted GPA ended up being a 96 point something. The fact that my SATs were low and my grades were high really helped me get into, get into college. Something that I do want to say about that however, my grades were high because lots of the courses that I took were easy courses. So you do have to understand that if you take AP classes and honors classes, if you get B's, like 80's and stuff, you're still gonna get into a pretty good college. Why? Because they, colleges, they look at the amount of work that you put in, not what your grades are. You can get 100 in like health, like that's a light work. But um, yes, my grades were high in like very basic classes, but in my supplemental essay, I did explain kind of why that was the reason for that school community. So there was this thing where like my counselor, she asked me, okay, to get into college, there's three important things. Your academics, what you do for the school community, and what you do for your community. So obviously the academics is your grades, your SAT scores, your school activities, that's kind of more like extracurricular activities, what you do for the school community. So I was in dance team, I was also, um, I was also the head of yearbook committee. I was also an Ignite mentor, which is you mentor the freshmen and help guide them through their freshman experience. And I was in National Honor Society. Then there's what do you do in your outside community? Do you volunteer? Do you, what do you do for your community? Um, I work, so that takes a big chunk away because the fact that I work, it shows that like, I am I am prepared and I like taking care of my family and being independent da, 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 da. and also because I'm a National Honor Society it's part of what I do to volunteer for the outside community so that also covers that part 
for the essay, I wrote about something that was very deep and personal. So I feel like you can go one or two ways. You either go very deep and personal or you go very funny and ha 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 ha. Either of those, as long as you make sure that whoever is reading it knows that you're serious about college and just sees that that's just your personality, you should be fine. Um, don't look at my nails. They are trash. I don't know if you could tell. You could sort of tell. They're really trash because I took them out because I want to start fresh. I have my hair in a protective hairstyle because prom is coming up in less than one month. So, you know, Shodi is not getting any heat damage and Shodi is protecting her nails until prom. Anyways, um, the Common app, it's a little daunting. It's a little, it's a little, you know, stressful, but you have to balance your time. Don't try to just do everything in one day. Try to really balance your time. Every college, what I thought originally was that if I went on Common App and just like put all the colleges I wanted to, there was just one application. No. What you have to do is you have to answer all the same questions that all goes to the same school. And then every school you have to click on them and you have to answer their personal questions. Some schools they want you to write essays and essays for them and it's so stressful. It's the only reason why I didn't apply to Cornell. Even though my counselor really wanted me to. I didn't think I would get in, but you know, they, they sometimes take students that are, you know, down there, you know. Let's Um, fee waivers. Even if you don't get free or reduced lunch. Okay, so first of all, if you get free or reduced lunch, you don't pay for the SAT. You don't pay for, like, college um, fees. So to apply to college, that is expensive as Temple University, I think it was either fifty or fifty or fifty-five dollars just to apply. But I ain't paying under that because my accounts ask folks. So I'm like, look, you know what I'm going through in life. You know that I'm stressing. You know that I shorty ain't getting no money. So she like went in because you could either have fair reduced lunch. It gives you automatic like fee waiver, and you can have like a counselor fee waiver because they say that they can see that you're not in good economic standing so eop i really want people to know about this eop is equal opportunity program if your grades are lower you can qualify for eop meaning that you will get into college because the reason why your grades are lower is because you don't have the resources to study and get the help that you need so that you can get into college so eop will definitely come in clutch letter of recommendations don't ask your teacher a week before it's due. Um, a lot of teachers have a lot of students, meaning that a lot of students are going to ask them for recommendations. Aside from that, how are they, like, unless you made a huge impact in their life and that's like your best bud, that teacher isn't going to remember everything that you did and how nice of a person you are. You have to remind them. So, end of junior year, please, please, please go to your teacher's Personally, do not write an email that is so bad. Don't write an email. You go to them personally. You could say something like, <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Duarte. Um, I'm applying for college, and I would really appreciate it if you would write my letter of recommendation. That's it. That's all you have to do. Some teachers might deny you. Don't take it personal. If they deny you, I think that's a good thing because they're not going to write you a trash letter. You make sure that that person actually likes you. Some teachers will require you to fill out a questionnaire. My counselor definitely did require me to fill out a questionnaire so she could get to know more about me and she could put it all in context. Extra writing requirements. You should definitely put in effort. Make sure to have someone help you with your essay. Make sure to get other people to read your essays. It's something I didn't mention earlier. Um, ask your teachers to help you edit them. Both the main essay and the supplementary essay. You have different styles. Like don't have like your supplementary essay and I forget what the actual essay is called. But like don't have your college essay and your supplementary essay be like both depressing as shit like have one that's like depressing and have that one that is fun so you can show that like you've been through a lot of shit in life but you're um, but you're a really great human being that they would love to see around the campus make sure that when you apply to colleges you look at their individual requirements maybe sometime junior year because there are some colleges that do require you to do four years of science there are some colleges that require you to do four years of language other than English. So you have to always check to make sure that you're going to get in. Try your best that you have all the classes that you, that they require you to take. 
and stay in the grade point that they require you to do or else you probably won't get in and lastly visit the school an online little tour it is not gonna cut it like you know if you want to go to a school because of the environment it's in don't go on like a weekend go on a day where like there is classes going on where you can see the actual students where you can see the people that you would be around for the next four years of your life when i went to visit temple i just knew you know what i'm saying like i was walking and i was like <gasps> and like i like walked into like the center everybody was just there was so much diversity there were so many people willing to like just have fun with each other there was such great vibes going on like i just felt great like i had this feeling in my heart like this is where i want to be like you know like it was just great and i enjoyed it so 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 much and i really 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 i suggest you do the same go visit the colleges that you want to go to that that was how i got into temple university um that was everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe if you want to see more of my journey remember i'm a new youtuber i only have like three subscribers and i already love them i don't know who they are if that is you comment down below or something it'll show you girls some love like look this youtuber shit is hard like i don't be knowing what to do i don't be having time to do anything so um i really appreciate you guys support and i just hope that it keeps growing hopefully later on i will have more time especially when i go to college i want to make this more serious it's a beautiful way to express myself and share with other people and make new friends who are over there so bye